All right, that time again, time for another outstanding episode of Corporal's Corner. This time it's gonna be different. We're gonna reach into the archives and pull out a bucket list item. Get ready. Okay, so here we are, we're at a different location. And I mentioned this video here was gonna be different in the fact that it's a bucket list item, something I've had on my mind for several years, and I wanna go and fulfill that. But first, check this out. This right here is the remnants of poison ivy. The vine crawled the tree, it died leaving these small hairs or fibers behind. Now, for those that are sensitive to that plant, like me, just touching this or getting it on your skin, the oils are still active and present, and they'll seep in and cause blistering. So, that's one of many reasons why I wear long sleeves all year round. Most people comment, it's summertime at 90 degrees, he has long sleeves, lols. Well, while you're lolzing, I'm being safe. Now, back to this video. Let's start with a disclaimer. It is illegal in any state to remove any type of construction trash or garbage or materials without permission. So with that out of the way, think of construction materials. They build houses. Why not use that same material to create a low budget, cost effective kit, or in a pinch, create a campsite. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. I got some materials on hand and we're gonna set up an entire camp using construction garbage. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Okay, so here's a method behind that madness. I defaulted to Gorilla Brand duct tape, and here's why. The sticky reflective foil tape that comes with it works great if you're wrapping a pipe or putting it behind a wall, it's perfect. Um, the problem is it's very thin, and it's basically like foil. If you lay on that, the seam is just gonna tear apart. So I defaulted to the duct tape, and we'll see if it works.
Okay, so this white tape right here is called mule tape or electrician's tape, sometimes referred to as pull tape. What electricians do on job sites is they have these gray piping, which is like PVC conduits that are embedded in concrete or in the walls of a building. And they take a bunch of electrical wires, sometimes that big around, and they go ahead and they pull them through there. Well, how do they do that? They have a machine or a series of dudes lassoing one end, feeding it through to the opposite end of that pipe and pulling it through. And it works out pretty well. The one drawback is it's very slick. So the knot you want to use on this, be very selective. I chose a rope tackle or trucker's hitch. Now the one problem is the loop wants to pull through. So all I did was cut some of our stakes and pop it through that loop and then tie an arbor knot or an overhand knot here at the bottom. And it worked out well.
Okay, so these stakes right here are meant for that fence barrier that we turn into a hammock. And the beautiful thing about this is that it is a tent stake waiting to happen. This end right here is tapered. All I have to do is cut it to my desired length and put a simple notch in it and we're good to go. Firewood carrier, baby. Boom.
just like that. Well, I had my doubts, but we pulled it off. I mean, who would have thought? A bow drill set from an ordinary construction trash fence post. Boom. Chow time. Okay, so just like our bronze knife video, here's failure number one. This end of our hammock was near our fire. The fire was too hot. I'm actually sweating right now next to those coals over there. And what happened was I pushed on it and actually saw it pull apart. So I thought, why get inside this? It's just going to fail anyways. So here you go, failure number one. Two options now. I'm thinking one, let the fire die down, or two, we just wrap it three or four times. And I'm the kind of person that I want a bomb ass fire, so we're not letting it die down. We're gonna add wood to it. I'm just gonna wrap it two or three times, and we'll go again. It works.
Ah, construction garbage. If you like what you see here, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. Outstanding. Starting to rain. Hammock is fixed. And we have our simple bacon cheeseburger. Mmm. The simple things in life. Get you all with you. Mm. And there we go. Light showers all night. 21 30, 9 30 p.m. Okay, I'm happy with the shelter. Um, I worked construction for several years, seen this crap laying around. I was a welder, uh, became an ICC, ICBO, welding inspector, structural steel inspector, masonry inspector, fireproof inspector, concrete inspector, um, dabbled in the soils and the ACI crap, just did that long enough to be like, no, um, ended up being finally certified welding inspector before I started doing this. So seen this crap laying around for years, I always thought about it when I was doing my YouTube videos um, for over a decade now. It's always been in the back of my head. I always wanted to try this. So, guess what? We did it. I want to say we beat the rain, but here we are. And we're going to get rained out. So, I want to give a quick shout out. Um, this one right here goes out to my boy Brian from Survival on Purpose. He's an OG of YouTube. Been around for a long time. Long, long time. And he has a bunch of gear reviews, knife reviews, and what I found out was interviews with top YouTubers. And I was fortunate enough to meet him at Blade Show 2021 in Atlanta a few weeks back. And I did my first interview with him, and I enjoyed it. Um, kind of steered clear of interviews because people use them for their own benefit. Also, they can edit how they want. But this is a down-to-earth dude. Um, showed me quite a few things on my camera that I can actually utilize, uh, microphones and such. Um, so I appreciate it. Um, his video is up. It's an interview with me at Blade Show talking about my Corporal Kelly Camp and Trail Edition from PKS. Um, check that knife out. It's on my website, Self Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. The link is inside my description box. But make sure you check out Brian from Survival on Purpose. I guess we're going to find out tonight if that Tyvek is really waterproof. Um, last but not least, my shout out to all my new subscribers and all my old subscribers. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. It's been a rough past couple months, but I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Share my videos with everyone, everywhere. Watch them all the way to the end. Drop a comment. Hit that like button. But most importantly, at the very end of the video, Check out YouTube's recommended playlist, find my next video, and play that bad boy. Get me bumped up on that list. Show YouTube you want Corporal's Corner, and I'll keep giving you Corporal's Corner. Thank you for everything. I love you guys, and I'm going to say it. Without you, I am nothing. I appreciate that. Which is worse, laying in this thing 
or hearing this all damn night. Oh my god. Ugh. Coffee time. No let up at Corporal's Corner. However, Dunkin' Donuts is always outstanding. Okay, let's talk about our shelter. What do we do here? Well, we made a simple overnight camp using construction garbage. And as I stated before, it's illegal anywhere in the United States to remove these materials. It's basically stealing without permission. So we went ahead and took our reflective snow barrier and made an improvised hammock. From there, we grabbed some insulated bubble wraps that you use to insulate pipes or walls and made it improvised sleeping mat give us that added comfort and a little bit of reflective insulation going on there kind of like wrapping a potato in foil next we moved on to our tarp nothing more than a sheet of Tyvek that you use to wrap around your house for waterproofing and it came with those tie out grommets right there this whole thing was held together using our electrician's tape or our mule tape Oh, and last but not least, we made an improvised bow drill set from our fence stakes, which I was impressed by. I actually thought that wasn't going to work, but it did. I'm happy. More great things to come. Still here? All right, check it out, it's been a while. I have a website, corporalaf.com. Once again, that's corporalaf.com. Get on my website, sign up for my email list. YouTube keeps dropping the ball on notifications. On my email list, I notify you when every single video drops. Once again, that's corporalaf.com.